Hi there, in this video I will show you a simple way to fix display blinking problem or skin flickering problem in Android. If your phone dropped from your hand, after that your phone's display is showing this problem, then this solution will be helpful for you to fix this issue without changing the display. So let's see how to fix it. First of all, open your Play Store and search for OLED Saver. If you are unable to find this app on the Play Store, then look here for how to install this app from another source. Open a web browser and search for OLED Saver. Open this link. Install this application from here. Follow all the instructions that you are watching on the screen to install the application without any hassle. Once the installation is completed, close this application. Now open the application from the app icon. Allow all the necessary permissions according to your phone. After enabling all the permissions, turn on this service. Now set the brightness to whatever you want to set. Tap on use picture filtering and select do not use. Tap on basic physical brightness and set it from 9 to 200%. Now you will see the difference. If this brightness is not enough on your device then you can set the level of brightness as your wish and see which one is perfect for your device. When your device skin flickering or blinking problem is no more or you satisfy with your skin behavior then tap on the settings and turn on both of these options. It will auto apply to your device when you unlock your device. After the restart, you can adjust your device skin brightness from here. As you can see here, the skin flickering problem of my phone is almost gone, but looks like I have to optimize more to fix my phone skin. Before that, let me show you what happens after I restart my phone. During the restart process, the skin flickering problem appears. But don't worry, after the restart and unlocking of your phone, it will no more available. As you can see here, the skin flickering problem is no longer available. After the restart and unlock of my phone, If you need more optimization on your device, then open the app and set the brightness to low or high to adjust. Or you can try different physical brightness and see what level of brightness is better performing on your device. Remember that 
This method is not a 100% solution for this problem because due to the damage to your phone screen, you need to change the display of your device to get proper performance. Before changing the display, you can also try the factory reset to your device as a last resort. Make sure you have backed up all the data before doing that. By applying this method, you can use your phone's camera and all applications properly. If you optimize the setting of the OLED Saver app. Thanks for watching.